So in the previous session, we were trying to plot, right, to do a 3D structure of COVID. And then we were not able to get it all because we, we made a mistake. So let's see the three different ways we can actually plot a 3D structure of a protein, right? So th so the most important thing you need to know is that you need this particular file format. Yeah, a PDB file format or a MMCIF file format, right? So this is the recent one. This is the latest one. So let's see how to work with it. So these are the basic requirements you need. So you need to install NGL view, then Py3 D model, then PyTrash. So these are the three main methods, the three main packages that you need. In case you're working on Jupyter Notebook, you just use this particular extension to enable NGL view. And in case you're working on Jupyter Lab, you need this particular extension, right? That's the basic idea. So we imported the parser, putting the database parser to pass our file that we downloaded right from here go to this particular URL you can get it from here right this is a particular file it's going to be a PDB file that's what we did then after that we were able to see the structure of our protein then this is how to get it so with this option we can check for the number of chains within it which is four we have four different models but several chains right so let's be with so to visualize it as 3d you first of all need to import ngl view as nv and after that you just go with nv dot demo so with this option, in case your extensions have been enabled, when you run this nv.demo, you're going to see the structure, right? You're going to see it there, right, in this particular format. Right, perfect, something like this. That is how it's, that means that your extensions have been enabled, so it's working perfectly well. So let's see how to do the same thing. So we can just run it for this one, which is going to be for our bio Python. So show bio Python, then there's a the structure that you're working on. Then I can run it as my view. So let's put it inside this particular variable. And if I run it view, it's going to show us our structure. So this was what we were able to do. We were able to do this one in the previous session, right? In the last session. So you can see it very well. You can see the annotation for the particular protein, particular atom rather. Perfect. Now let's see the second method. So the second method is using Py3D more. So you just go to import Py3D more. Then this is why you made a mistake. So this is supposed to be query. In a previous session, we did it like this, which is not the best, right? You're supposed to bring the database, PDB, right? Then you just run it. So after running it, you just set the spectrum to this particular option. Then you can be able to see it in a spectrum format, right? There are several color formats, but this is the simplest format. This is the using Py3D more. Very nice and very cool. You can zoom in, zoom out. Very nice. Now let's see Another step, in case you also want to render it as an image, just go with render image. You're going to see it in this particular format. Right? This is a colorless one, not that spectrum, but there's a different color. I don't know whether you can see it very well. Right, very interesting. This is a basic stuff about it, right? Apologies for the noise behind. Now, the third method is using PyTrash. So, just go to import PyTrash as PT. Then with PyTrash, you can actually load the file that we downloaded, which was referring to this file, PDB file from here, right? This PDB file, you can actually load it. But for the Py3D model, you don't need to load, you just query the file. So in querying it, you just query the particular file, either using this number here, this particular number here, or the number here, the number that is, has been supplied here or here, right? This one, that is what we did here. So we supplied that number, so you can just change it number then it's going to download it in memory and then run it for you with the pi 3d model but for the pi project you can download you reload the file directory just like what you did previously right in this particular format so pt.load reload the file the one that we have downloaded it then you just use this particular option show pi charge then you pass it inside this then you can see it in a very nice format for us you can zoom in zoom out right very nice in case you also want to render it as an image in which you can zoom in you want to save it then just go with view dot render image then in this case you can't zoom in you can't zoom out so that's a basic idea right so that's how to work with protein analysis how to do a simple 3d structure from your python instance right python next please so thank you for watching this long tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed see that my camera is freezing apologies for that thank you see you another time bye thank you for watching bye